Okay, y'all. Here we have Carrie Kelly, daughter, Kiana Kelly, Robert Kelly's niece, claiming that he tried to have sex with her. I don't know. I don't. I, I, I don't know, y'all. This is just weird. The way this family is set up, they got me thinking that child molestation, child pornography, incest, rape, and all that is the norm in their family. This is just weird. recently talked to my dad um it's been like 11 years and still like I was still you know just scared to talk to him just because you know yeah not that you know 11 years me talking to him um I just you know told him about Uncle Robert yeah like I <laughs> I never you know what I'm saying thought that I would tell him you know what I'm saying but my dad he's a changed man you know so um I had just recently told him, you know, about Uncle Robert. Um, like, back in 2007, um, he had his Big Jam, his Big Jam concert with other, you know, celebrities and stuff. I called up, you know, called him up, and I'm like, hey, Uncle Robert, you know, what's up? You know, he like, hey, Key, you know, what's up? I'm like, what you doing? I'm like, we need to hang. He like, oh, you know, I'm not doing nothing, you know. What's up? We can hang. So, um, you know, he ended up giving me, you know, strict instructions, you know, saying like, you know, just telling me like what I need to wear as far as like a hat and to put my hair in a ponytail. I don't know if because like my face just looks young, like because I still look like I'm 18, but I'm 29 now. But, you know, he's like, you know, I need you to put your hair in a ponytail, you know, put a hat on. I'm like, okay, you know, whatever. I already had a ponytail in my head, so I just, you know, threw the hat on. And he's like, I'm going to have my driver come get you for the address. And he's like, you know, look out for, you know, an all-black truck. I'm like, okay. So I was with my brothers um, at the time. And my husband now, my, but my boyfriend then. Um, and about an hour later, no, no more than like two hours later, um, you know, a white guy had pulled up in a black truck. Okay, you know, that's what, you know, that must be Uncle Robert people. So, um, you know, I ended up going out there, and I'm like, who are you looking for? He's like, are you, uh, Keith, you know, Kiana Kelly? I'm like, yeah. He's like, okay, cool. You know, Rob sent me. I'm like, okay, cool. So, um, you know, I get in the truck, and we go downtown. Uh, I guess when it's like his favorite spots or whatever, the rock and roll McDonald's. We, uh, you know, ended up pulling up and I asked the driver, I'm like, okay, well, you know, where's Uncle Robert? And he's like, oh, you know, that's his tour bus right there. Um, you know, he, you know, he'll be there in a second. I'm like, okay. So I go on the tour bus and I see his driver. He's like, hey, you know, Rob's expecting you. Um, he'll be here shortly. I'm like, okay. You know, whole time I'm thinking like, okay, well, I hope this driver don't think that I'm just, you know what I'm saying? a little young girl, Ruby or a fan or something, like a little girl, you know what I'm saying, that just want to be with R. Kelly. No, I'm his blood. And so he's like, you know, he'll be there shortly. He'll be here shortly. I'm like, okay, cool. He's like, you know, you know, we got snacks and stuff, you know, movies and stuff, you know, you can put a movie on. I'm like, okay, cool. So uh, I ended up, you know, putting on a movie, 1408. About an hour later, Uncle Robert had came. And... He came on a tour bus, like, so arrogant, though. Just cocky, you know, just, like, walking in his shit. Walking in his, you know, on his tour bus, his, his stuff, you know what I'm saying? As if um, I wasn't his niece. Uncle Robert, what's up? You know what I'm saying? It's been years. He's like, hey, Key, you know, what's up? And, you know, yada. So, you know, we sit down, and uh, he takes off his shoes takes like off his shoes like I'm just sitting up like on the little it's like a white leather um a white leather couch and he takes off his shoes I'm like okay you know then he gets to like lay down on the couch and put his feet on my legs and, you know because honestly my brothers do that you know so I didn't think nothing of it I'm like okay 
saying, you know, just, just my uncle, whatever. Well, he gets to asking me, he's like, um, you know, do you have any pictures of you? And do you have any pictures of your, your brothers? I'm like, no. Nah. I'm like, I don't have no pictures of my brothers, but um, I have a picture of me and my friend. We just went to homecoming yesterday. He's like, okay, yeah, let me see those. I'm like, okay, yeah. And, you know, it's me in the picture. It's my friend in the picture. And the first thing he said is, damn, she got a fat ass. This is 2007. Yeah, well, I had this in 18 in September. This was in October of 2007, because his Big Jam um, concert was in, you know, 07. Yeah, so the first thing he said was, damn, she got a fat ass. I said, ugh, I said, she's 17. He said it again, like, man, her ass is fat. I'm like, oh, my Lord. Just thinking to myself, like, oh, my Lord. Well, um, after that, uh, after that, you know, I'm like, so, unk, I'm like, you know, you got a concert coming up. He like, of course I know I got a concert coming up. It's my concert. So, you know, we just giggled and stuff. I mean, shoot, Uncle Robert is, I don't even know how old he is now, like 52 or something like that, 11 years ago. Yeah, so, um, I just told him, I'm like, you know, you, you know, you got a concert coming up. He's like, I know I got a concert coming up, you know, it's, it's my concert, you know what I'm saying? Just being out arrogant. I just asked him, you know, like, um, I want to come to your concert, you know, like six of my, you know, friends and family. He's like, yeah, you know, I'll make that happen. I'm like, for real, like, I'm for real, like, I want to go to your concert. He's like, I got you, I'm going to make that happen. So he ended up uh, not giving me six tickets personally. I guess he sent it to the box office, and I was telling him, I'm like, me and my family and friends get dressed up for nothing. You know, when we get there and them damn tickets ain't dead, then we're going to have a problem. Come to find out the tickets was there, he put in my mom's name. Yeah, so anyway, um, after that, after he was like, you know, you know, I ain't going to do you like that. And I'm like, okay, cool. So then he gets to asking me, um, do you do your hair? Do you go to the salon and get your hair done? I'm like, nope. I keep my hair just like this in a ponytail. Because deep down inside, I'm thinking like, you know what I'm saying? Why are you asking me this? I just tried to just keep it strict like that. Like, no, nope. You know what I'm saying? Like, nope. I keep my hair just like this in a ponytail. Oh, Okay. Do you wear makeup? I'm like, nah, Unc, I keep my face just like this. Nope, no makeup, no nothing. No hair done, no nothing. You know what I'm saying? And so I'm literally just sitting there just like, what the hell, you know? So um, after that, he's like, I want to raise you. Like, Unc, I'm kept like throwing out the uncle, the uncle, the uncle to make him realize like, dude, I'm your niece. You're my uncle. You're my dad's brother. Hey. This is, this is the only, you know, one of the main reasons why I'm telling him now, like, I'm telling this to my dad, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's been 11 years, and I kept this to myself. I only told my mom. I knew back then, like, daddy, I wouldn't even be seeing my daddy right now. It would be some irreversible damage. I'm not even playing. Um, no, I'm just telling him, I'm like, Uncle Robert, I'm like, I'm raised already. I'm 18. Oh, no, nah, you know, won't you just ask your mom, can you come live with me? I'm like, Uncle Robert, I'm like, no. I'm like, she's not going for that. No. I her to ask her. I'm sure she'll say yeah. I'm like, no. If you know my mother, no, she would not say yes. No. You know what I'm saying? I was just like my mom. You know? And I'm sure he saw it all in my face. Like, I kept on, like, backing up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no, I ain't no damn fool now. Yeah, I'm trying to test the waters to see if I'm, I'm gullible. Girl, I don't even want to hear no more. She was 18, and she waited 11 years to even say something about it. I don't know. I don't, ugh, girl, I don't know about this one.